how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com. This is the Samsung Craft. It is probably one of the best messaging phones, if not the best messaging phone, on the market right now. It is a 4G phone. It has Wi-Fi. It also has a capacitive touchscreen display. It's actually an AMOLED display. And it has a 3.2 megapixel camera with autofocus and a flash. So it has all these amazing features packed into this messaging phone. And so I've been testing it for about a week now, and I'm very super impressed with it. I'm like very super impressed. I'm not just super impressed, I'm very super impressed. So I'm gonna give you guys a full review so you can have an idea of the pros and the cons um, and basically why I think it's the best messaging phone on the market right now. So Samsung Craft from Metro PCS. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this is the Samsung Craft from Metro PCS. And uh, first of all, just while I have it powered on, uh, I wanna go over really quick um, there were some people that wondered why I mentioned that there was a SIM card in the box that shipped with the phone. Um, because Metro PCS is in fact a CDMA network, um, but for some reason the phone does use a SIM card. So it uh, may have something to do with the, the 4G or uh, maybe it was easier to do it that way, I'm not sure. But anyway, it does use a SIM card, although Metro PCS is a CDMA network. So anyway, while we have the battery cover off, uh, you can see the battery. It is a 1500 milliamp hour battery. And so, you know, by estimates, you should get about eight days of standby time and then a little over six hours of, of uh, talk time. I found that uh, the battery, you know, was not the best, especially for a messaging phone. Um, you know, granted, 1500 milliamp hour is a huge battery for a messaging phone. Um, but it still didn't last as long as a typical messaging phone would. You know, usually you can get on a messaging Metro phone... Hello. Hello. Uh, typically on a messaging phone, you can get a good, you know, three days of use, you know, maybe two days. Um, but I only got about, you know, probably about a day and a half of use. And so battery life wasn't that great. Um, but anyway, so here's the phone and... Uh, for some reason, all of the icons are messed up. I had them more organ organized than that. But anyway, it is a 3.3 inch AMOLED display. It actually has a capacitive touch screen. And I'm going to tell you, you know, there's a lot of, you know, a couple of messaging phones that have come out lately um, that have had capacitive touch screens. I'm thinking the LG View Plus, the Samsung Flight 2. Um, you know, these all had capacitive touchscreens, but they weren't really that great. Um, you know, in those instances, you know, the quality was so poor that I would have preferred a resistive touchscreen. But this capacitive touchscreen is great. It's up to par with the capacitive touchscreen that you'll use on a smartphone, whether it's, you know, iPhone 4 or the Galaxy S devices. You know, any one of those capacitive touchscreens, it's great. Now, it doesn't support multi-touch, so when you're in the web browser, um, you'll have to just basically do a long hold and then a zoom bar will come up. And so uh, when we go to the web browser here, I'll show you how it works. Again, it's a 4G phone. You saw there that it does support Wi-Fi. So, you know, it's a little strange because it's a messaging phone, but so much about it makes you think that it's a smartphone, but it's not. So I'll go here to uh, phonedog.com and... Uh, just give you guys a quick look at 4G, how it works on the craft. So push OK. And uh, it's not too bad. You know, first few tests were a little bit slow, uh, slower than I would have expected. But once I started testing it and, and using more websites, um, you know, going to more websites, it, it definitely sped up. And, you know, where I am right now, my location, uh, just in the particular room I'm in, um, for some reason, the 4G is slower than it is out just when I'm out and about. Okay, so the page is somewhat loaded up now, and, uh, you know, it didn't take too long. You know, like I said, it's faster uh, when, I, when I'm when i in a different room, I get better coverage. But, so since it doesn't support multi-touch, you can all, I, either do uh, the double tap to zoom, or you can do a long hold, and then zoom in and zoom out. So... Uh, you know, kind of interesting, and it works okay, it's really not too bad, and, you know, this is one of the things where 
If you ever forget that you're actually using a messaging phone, um, this is where you'll be reminded <laughs> in the web browser because, you know, like I said, there's so many things about it, the 4G, the Wi-Fi, you know, the overall build quality, the camera even, the, the AMOLED display, which is beautiful. So many things about it, you know, make it seem like a, like a smartphone, um, but, you know, it's really not, and web browsing is, is kind of one of the areas where uh, you're going to figure that out. And so, you know, it's not horrible, but it's just, it's still a messaging phone, and so it's not going to be, you know, wonderful. Um, it's still going to be slightly uncomfortable. And so, click on a link here, and we'll wait for it to load up. So, you know, again, you, know, you see the typical uh, messaging phone, web browser, HTML browser, so it's not um, the greatest, doesn't have all the features of, you know, say an Android browser or Opera or, you know, Dolphin HD, but, um, you know, it's still good. Uh, someone gets the job done, and there are a couple of other features uh, that you can use in terms of data um, that do work pretty well. Even though the web browser wasn't outstanding, you do have um, an email client here uh, that I'll go to. So you can see it's, you know, it's kind of cool looking, has a nice little design features. You can delete, um, you can actually have multiple accounts. So I have only my Gmail account. Uh, but you can have multiple accounts, and it just has a nice little design to it. You know, obviously, it's not going to sync up. Um, you know, every time you get an email, it's not going to tell you right away. Uh, you'll probably have to go to the application itself and tell it to refresh. So, you know, it's not going to be as instantaneous or as convenient as a smartphone, but you do have those features. You can see here also YouTube and Twitter. Um, Twitter, you know, this just goes to the mobile site as well as YouTube. While I'm talking about YouTube, um, I mentioned earlier that the screen is beautiful, and it is. You can't really tell from the camera, but things are just very um, crisp. Um, the, the font or the typing is very crisp. The colors show up very well. Um, it's a beautiful screen. Uh, it comes with Star Trek, the full-length movie pre-installed, and you know it's amazing to watch. But when it comes to watching videos, whether it's from YouTube or from you know any videos that you've recorded, um, it doesn't look that great, and I don't understand why. Uh, you would think that they would find a way to take advantage of the beautiful, beautiful screen, but if we go here and then, uh, whoops, we'll go to the Weekly Bone with with uh, John Quatch, John Q, and we'll play it. So you'll see when it starts to play. Sorry for my reflection showing. Um, You'll see when it starts to play, it's kind of choppy, um, you know, you really can't tell from the video, but it's very, oh, it's very um, grainy, it's very grainy, um, you know, kind of pixelated, and it is just kind of choppy, not very smooth, and you think, you know, again, it also doesn't take up the full screen, um, you'd think that they would find a way to, you know, make this play better. That may just be, you know, some of the limitations of, again, it being a smartphone, but, um, you know, I was a little bit disappointed by that. It does have a 3 megapixel camera with autofocus, and it also has a flash. So, I was very impressed by the camera, and I'll show you some sample pictures. The flash was great, the autofocus, anytime you have an autofocus, you're instantly going to have pictures that are... 10 times better than a camera without an autofocus. Um, you know, it has white balance features, self timer. Um, so the camera was very impressive. I'll show you a couple of sample photos. Okay, so this was taken, um, it was pitch black, and I just used a flash. And so you can see um, it looks great. And so the flash worked very well. Again, here's a couple more pictures. Um, detail is great. And, you know, again, just having that autofocus, it makes everything so much clearer, um, just takes a great picture. And then again, looking at the picture on the beautiful AMOLED display, uh, you know, it looks great. And so the camera, I was very impressed by. So, let's go back to the home screen.